You know that feeling where a deadline is coming real close and you're like, eee, that's not enough time to do the job I wanted to do on this. That's how I feel right now <laughs> about this YouTube video. Welcome to Worldly Families. I'm Justine Janae. Traveling to over 40 countries and living abroad has shown me that the mainstream American way of doing things is not always the best. I'm all about showing you new ways of being and doing so you can live and parent more intentionally and more joyfully. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to do it all. Hint, you don't. The other day, my husband Kenny was telling me that he's so proud of me for being so consistent on YouTube and that he sees me as this person who follows through and does what I say I'm going to do. And I was like, wow, that's so cool that you see me that way because I am definitely harder on myself. I've missed one or two weeks on YouTube since I started the channel and, you know, feel like maybe that means that I'm not so consistent after all. But here's the thing. A previous version of myself would have gotten much more caught up in perfectionism. Scientists have found a cure for perfectionism. It's called parenting. <laughs> If you're a parent, you know what I'm talking about. So I have three tips for how to get over perfectionism and just do stuff anyway. Or not. Tip one, know your floor. What is a floor? By that I mean know what's the minimum amount of doing the thing that you want to do that still counts. So for example, if it's a meditation practice, maybe your goal that you want to do every day is a 10 minute meditation in the morning or 10 minutes in the morning and 10 minutes at night or something like that to start. Maybe it's five minutes, maybe it's one minute. Your floor is much lower than that. So your floor might be one breath. So know your floor because it can help you relax and just take consistent action. Tip two. Reflect. This means that when things aren't going according to plan, or say you're doing your floor all the time and you're never really hitting your goal of what you want to achieve with your new habit, take time to reflect on what's going well and what needs work. And then from there, what is my plan? Like, what am I gonna try next? I, want, I need to change something if it's not currently working the way that it is. The reflection time is more just about having an objective view of the chain of events that's leading you to not hit your goal. So you can go back into that chain and change something earlier on to maybe have a different outcome. Tip three, forgiveness. For those times when you don't even hit your floor, it's just been a rough day, or it's been a rough week, or it's been a rough year and a half, <laughs> give yourself some grace. Give yourself forgiveness. Don't be so hard on yourself. Don't beat yourself up or be shameful about it. And when you don't hit your goal and you don't even hit your floor, that's okay. Let it go, brush it off, and then start over. Just simply start over. Today is a new day. Starting fresh will allow you to move forward without the emotional baggage that you may have had as a perfectionist. You have a lot on your plate just taking care of yourself and if you're also taking care of kids, whoo! And if you have a partner relationship to manage too, whoo! <laughs> That's a lot. It's okay. Whatever it is you didn't hit your floor about, it's okay. It's okay. Let it go. Move on. That's why when people say, Justine, how do you do it all? I'm like, <laughs> I don't. That's my secret. I do as much as I can, as well as I can, and I let go of the rest. Try it out. It works wonders for the mind, body, and spirit. I'll see you in the next video.